Okay, seventh grade, lesson nine. This is on adding, subtracting, and multiplying fractions. So this should be your review. Um, last year we taught it pretty in depth. So um, those of you that are watching online, if you want a more in depth one, do the sixth grade um, for adding, subtracting, and multiplying. We're just reviewing today. So adding fractions. I'm just going to quickly show you. This is A and B. All right, this is a little scale, a line. Um, and we are going, it tells me that AB is, oh wait, it has a C too. Let's do this again. A, B, and C, okay? It tells me that line AB is one and three eighths of an inch long. And it tells me that BC is one and four eighths of an inch long. Then it asks me this, how long is line AC? That's the question. So what would I do here? Um, would you add, to, add together you the would. two numbers? You You're add. exactly right. So remember when we're adding fractions, we just line it up vertically, okay? And so do you remember what to do? This has been a long time ago. Yeah, you, you only add the numerators. Very good, you only add the numerators. Four and three is seven. Then the eights just come down and just be eight. And then one plus one is two. So how long is that line? Two and seven eighths, okay? So like I said, that's just a quick review. All right? Now, let's look at a percent. 33 and one third percent plus 33 and one third percent. Does this have to be harder than it is? No. You would just bring percent down and an answer, make it an answer in percent, okay? So, one plus one is two. two. Bring your three down because you don't add your denominator, only your numerator. And then three plus three is six, and three plus three is six. So, 66 and two-thirds percent is the answer, okay? Pretty easy. You just add the percent. All right. Now, let's do another quick review, all right? When you see this circle and it is divided into four spots, if I fill in all four, what would you tell me the fraction is for that? One whole. One whole, but as a fraction. Four, four. Four, four. Okay. So as you know, four, four is one. One whole. Three, three is one whole. Ninety-nine over ninety-nine is one whole. It doesn't matter. Very good. Now, you can always just add the numerators as long as what? The denominator is the same. If the denominator is different, then we have to do something else, okay? But the answer here would be 3 plus 2 is 5, and then I move over a 5, so that answer is now what? 1. 1, very good. Okay, so just a quick review. Now, let's do subtraction, finding the difference of something. Um, here comes 1, 3 and 5 nines, ninths, and 1 and 1 ninths. Again... Same rules apply. As long as I have the same denominator, it just moves down. And then 5 minus 1 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2. And that's our final answer, 2 and 4 ninths. Got it? Mm -hmm. Like you understand it? Yeah. All right, now, this one may be confusing to you if you look at it, but it's really not. 3 minus 3 is 0. And then the 5 just moves there. You don't ever want to leave something as no, nothing over 5. You just want to say the answer is 0. So if you get 0 over 5, just put 0. Okay? Now, we're moving really quick because now we're moving to multiplication. Okay? Remember, this was just supposed to be a review today. All right. If I tell you to take um, half of a half. All right, so pay attention to this. I want you to take half of a half. Now, let's draw this real quick. There's a half. And if I took a half of a half, what's the answer going to be? Now, pretend like this is this, okay? That was my half. You see that? A fourth. A fourth. Very good. Now, because, as you can see, when I take this away, that's half. And then that would be in, been a fourth. You see that now? But the mathematical way to do that is this. Half of, of in math, 
means multiply. Okay? And this, pay attention, this is where a lot of people get confused. They remember to add the numerators and just slide the denominator over. But in multiplication, you might want to write this down. In multiplication, you multiply the numerator and you multiply the denominator. So that might be, and a lot of times if you're doing multiplication and adding and subtracting all in one lesson, your brain can some kind of get sometimes get confused if you're not really focused on what you're doing. Okay, so this answer would be 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. 1 fourth, just like you said. So half of a half is 1 fourth. So of in math means a multiply. Do you remember that rule from last year? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do... Here's what it says to me. Half of a third. Now that's kind of hard to understand um, to look at that, but what is of in math? Multiply. Multiply. So when we make it like that, it becomes pretty simple. One times one is one, two times three is six, and the answer is one sixth. All right, now, last thing on this um, multiplication, if you see this, that dot, do you remember what that means? Multiply. It does. Very good. See, this one's going to actually give you two dots, which is you're going to multiply all of them. So guess what you can do? Guess what we're going to do here? We're going to go 1 times 3 times 1. What would my answer be? Uh, 3. 3. Very good. 2 times 4, 8. 8 times 5, 40. There you go. 3 40ths. Okay. You don't change the denominator of multiplication? No. Isn't that crazy? I know. Um, you just keep multiplying. Okay. Okay. Now, I would have to reduce if I could. Do you remember reducing? We'll probably talk about that another day. But we actually don't have to reduce. But we have talked about it before. Do you remember? Okay. Real quick, let me show you this. Do you remember me teaching you anything about a reciprocal? Do you remember that yeah. word? Okay, so um, three-fourths, the reciprocal of that would become four-thirds. Four-thirds, very good. Okay, uh, two-thirds. Three-seconds. Three-halves. Okay, three. Um, what about this one? One-fourth. Uh, four over one. Four over one. What about this one? Five. Um, what is five really as a fraction? Five-fifths. Almost. Um, the way that they tell you to do it is if you're saying five, it's just five over one. Oh, yeah. So then to define the reciprocal is one fifth. You remember that? Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Okay, now check this out. If I multiply reciprocals, guess what always happens? Three fourths times, whoops, <laughs> four thirds, 12 over 12, which equals one, one whole. What about three eighths? Times eight thirds one. times three, 24 over 24, which equals one. So guess what? Every time you multiply a reciprocal, you will always get the answer of one. Got it? That's how that works. All right? So, hmm. If I asked you this, this is kind of confusing, but pay attention. How many three fourths are in one. Now stay with me. Sometimes this can get confusing when we're looking at fractions, so I'm going to change the numbers just for my brain. How many fives are in 20? Five equals 20. Five times what? How many? Five times four. Four, right? Five times four is 20. So how many fives? Five, 10, 15, 20. Four of them. You see how we did that? Mm -hmm. So, basically what I'm doing is taking five times something, how many of them, are equal to one, equal to 20. So I'm saying to you this, three-fourths times what equals one? And we just reviewed it. What will always make it oh, equal one? four-thirds. Very good. So when you see this problem, how many three-fourths are in one, don't freak out. It basically just means you need the reciprocal to equal one. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, last problem. And this is just a quick review as well. Three-fourths in 
equals one. What does that mean when you see those in that Times number? what equals. Right. So n, when it's next to a letter, it means this. Four, Three-fourths times what equals one, and we know that would be four-thirds because it needs a reciprocal. That is lesson nine.